Today, I take the stuff I learned from building Secret Hunter and I turn it into a mashup and possibly its most powerful final form yet. Midrange Hunter cuts off its worst six cards and then adds in Subject 9 and five secrets. Oh. The Madman! So the nice thing about this deck versus my Secret Hunter deck is it's got a Dire Frenzy, which should push the Warrior matchup into being much more favored if it wasn't already. Push. On turn three, what can the warrior do to kill my scavenging hyena? I think it's about slam. If they run it, or pass. Yeah, hyena. Next turn's plan is going to be spring paw. Spring paw, freezing trap. Freezing trap denies their commander. Weapons pouch. Oh, that was the big one. Yes. Clever ploy. Okay. That one kind of sucks for me. Oh, boy, do I not want to have that silent sky go back to his hand. So the cool thing about Subject 9 is he's a beast, so Master's Call can uh, fetch a pretty good card. Pretty good. Value, value, etc. Ooh, second Dire Frenzy, that's such a good grab. Very nice. I am 100% saving Dire Frenzy for Tundra right now. Defend the gates. Oh, never subject nine. Now I just gotta double the beast in my hand. Brilliant. Did he not know this was going to get sniped or something? What just happened? The next turn is uh, Rhino Frenzy. Question is, do I want to do anything before that turn? Fine as is.
Two traps left in the deck. Nine cards, eight cards. Subject nine, good play. It's a rat trap and a snake trap. To my side. I think it's pretty likely he attacks one of my guys, so Snake Trap decent this turn. Exercise of restraint. I think something in the middle is best here. a pretty good card. Should I combo wombo with this? Not really necessary this turn, I think. Just play it out. Yeah, I can combo wombo with the other two. Cast my other dire frenzy before casting Zul'jin. Ooh, the bombs on the board are good for me. Dire frenzy. I like it. And then do I want to play this just to add 2 damage? Can I do better in the future? I think I can do better than that. I also think if I played the Timberwolf, I might obligate him to a brawl, which he might already do anyways. I know he's saving one brawl for his old gen, for sure. Thank goodness for the coin, because I'm going to need the uh, extra mana. I think my hand is going to be full. My hand is too full.
Wait, I actually think I am going to overdraw one. Hard to throw away. Links, I guess. Whereas the normal secret hunter had problems getting through to the control warrior at the end, control warrior is gonna have a tough time dealing with all this stuff. It's gonna be an issue. He's problem for him. Yes. Ooh. Very nice. Yes. And I think I'll save the hound. He still has one more brawl. He still has a war path. Really it's the brawl that scares me. So good. What if I play the hound? Play the hound, four, six, he's at six. Next turn. Actually, who cares about Brawl? Get him. Wait. Next turn, the plan is to play five, eight, nine, ten. I have enough mana to play all of it already, so I might as well just hit this and call it a The difference was just like, can I play all of it? And the answer is yes, so might as well not play all of it. He has to play the Brawl to survive here anyways, so... Oh, uh, great. Oh, great. Do I have lethal? I think I do. If I kill command this, it's basically doing 5 damage, so that should be right to do, and that's definitely lethal. <laughs> Come on, Huffer! It's always nice to mulligan three cards and not draw one of the five patches in the deck. Because all the traps are basically patches. But they're not as bad as patches, so you don't mind drawing one, two, or three of them. But ideally you draw zero of them. That's actually a good trap against this deck. That is a, that is a coin kill command, isn't it? Yes it is. Get him! You cheater! Such a cheater! Yeah, I can either pray for the 1 in 3, or we can explosive and set up the Hench Clan next turn. Technology. Oof. We're screwed. No fair. He drew two hundred belly anglers.
Yeah, in case it's Murlocs, I think you do want to keep Unleash. Treat him kind of like Zoo, where the uh, big comeback is the Unleash Hyena turn. Blah. This time we have some early game play. Underbelly Angler, turn one is always lead the dream. But I think we have the tools required to win this thing. Especially if he chooses not to trade. Oh. Why aren't you super ultra greedy? That's good for me. Slow him down. He's like, haha! That mana wraith was killing me! Now I can play all my cards! But you see, I've cleverly laid two traps for him. And then the third trap is after he plays all his cards, the Unleashed Timberwolf Direwolf Alpha is gonna get him. <laughs> all according to plan. Oh, that's a cool card to play in that deck. This is a good card. Oh my god. I mean, you gotta kill the Murlocs. And I guess you gotta kill the 3 3 over the 1 1. Okay, yes, I should have killed the 1-1. One, one. There's a Toxpin. And then I should have sent one of the two ones at the... <laughs> hey look, it's time for me to high roll. That feels good. How didn't he die? I hit him for 23. Oh, rats. So close. I looked up Headhunter's Hatchet in the mid-range Hunter deck, and it had a very low win rate in the deck. That's part of what inspired me. I just wanted to cut all the low win rate cards from mid-range, and then just add in the secret package, since Subject 9 has a very high win rate. And then we just gotta hope that theory is sound. I think Snake Trap into Animal Companion makes sense. Because they want to play their commander against Sneak Trap. <laughs> Sneak Trap! This deck doesn't really have any reason for Timberwolf to be worse than normal midrange hunter. And normal midrange hunter has Timberwolf is pretty good. 
in terms of stats. So that's why I kept it in, but it was one of the cards I was thinking of cutting. Not Leoc, not Leoc, not Leoc! Oh. Actually, it's pretty good here against Sneak Trap and against Acolyte. No, that's, that's fine. <laughs> Ooh. Prepare for pain! Wait, no. Prepare for Warpath. Well, I mean, that would be okay. No? Red Trap's no good here. He's not gonna play three spells. Uh, so the question is, Shimmerfly? Or what, Coin Master's Call? Actually, Master's Call first was good, because then I could've gone Scavenging Hunger, and I should call. Wall Draw last. Ah, no Hyena. I used my precognition to know that I wasn't going to draw a hyena. So no misplay was made. Light the fuses. Of course Hogsteed is going to feel underwhelming against a warrior. It's good against the tempo decks. Drew patches. Unlucky. The card that's really felt underwhelming is Timberwolf. Maybe I should cut one of those in the deck. And then I can put in one of the tough cuts I made. I know the last cut I made was really tough. I think it was Direwolf Alpha, which would be about the same as Timberwolf, so I can cut like another card that's that I thought was tough, perhaps. That's gonna look like explosive trap. That's probably okay. Timberwolf is good in midrange hunter because of all the small synergies in the deck we have cut some of the synergy. But here's the thing, we didn't. The cards I cut were varied, but it did not touch the small stuff. I guess, yes it's true. The Headhunter's Hatchet is less good, or the Timberwolf is less good because Headhunter's Hatchet is cut. Let the pain speak to me. Oh, good. Perfect.
Aha! Tis a prank. Looking for those unleashes. Oh, is that the third card? Womp womp. Womp womp. Ooh. Can't say no to a free fireball in the face. Scare him. Spooky. It's a secret. Oh. So spooky. Are you spooked? I'll give you a chance to be spooked. Having that take two damage is pretty useful. We're just a hounds, a prank, and a kill command away. And the hounds aren't very good against them anyways. Four plus five equals Mechathun. Unity, precision, perfection. Re five eight ten. Nice turn. might look something like, how in the world can this hunter possibly beat that control warrior? I mean, Dr. Boom second from last huffs, but it gets there. Turn where he wants to play Alyssiana. I should play this. And, uh, sure, it's one damage. He probably doesn't want to hit the button.
time deal. The opponent's hand is Warpath Brawl Brawl, um, plus a mech, plus... Mm, plus two other cards. Uh, Alessiana is probably one of them. And then one other card. Oh, possibly the uh, Alessiana combo card. Yes. Oh, wow. Okay, so next turn he's definitely planning on Warpath Alessiana. Or not, Alessiana plus the two mana card, probably a banker or something. Um, so I actually should kill the command this thing. Could actually pull his banker. And I should play that. So, I mean, it's still gonna be 10 cards after Alessiana. So I have two brawls in his hand in Alessiana, and. Yeah. His hero was second from the bottom, but my hero is also like either third, second, or first from the bottom. Come on! Alright, got the second best card. So I know one of his cards is Brawl. If I don't trade, do I think he trades? Maybe I send two of the 1-1s one at the 7-7, seven, seven, and then I don't trade. Wait, no, then I'm just giving him the chance to trade. That would be dumb. I should do this. Blah. To some extent, the um, micro squad will be good for me, because I'm either going to draw Unleash the Hounds, or I'm going to draw Zul'jin, who will Unleash the Hounds. Okay. This is gonna be a huge Zul'jin. So he's got the two damage, so I don't want one plus to go. Now when I play Zul'jin, he's just gonna brawl, but... It's gonna still be pretty sweet. Oh, wow. That's a good card. From Alessiana. Yeah, that's a good card from Assembly. Well, all right, here we go. Please don't have my Dire Frenzy activate first. Cast Misdirection twice this game? Oh, Wyvern died somehow. Ooh. So this is dying. Wait, did I win? 11... Thirteen. Ah, what off lethal? Whatever works. Wait, no, we have it. <laughs> Brilliant. Subject nine. Unleash against Murlocs. Yep. Ain't it? Cause I have unleash. Yes. All right. We're like a. Combo hand here. The calm before the storm. Uh, 
I'd normally play Dire Wolf here, but because I have exactly Unleash Hyena, we'll let him keep his trash. Watch out, Shaman. It's Hand Hunter. <laughs> the gold one is drawing more aggro. Okay, so four traps in the deck. Seven cards, six cards. I would mill one card if I played Subject 9 immediately, but it might still be the right play. That's an interesting card to see. No trade. It's also interesting. Mill one. How bad could it be? I have Zul'jin in my hand. That is a very cute one. <laughs> cute! Oh. I think that is the worst card to see go. Huffer, I choose you! Huffer is one of the better ones to Dire Frenzy. Or possibly the best guy to Dire Frenzy. Okay, good. I got Unleash, which means Zul'jin is still good. God, I thought I only had a 6 mana 5-5. Five five. Um, honestly, it's not that big a deal, though. To some extent, it could be argued that's a fine move, because I have unleashed the hounds, so I didn't really want the Anoyotrons to die. In which case, attacking the first time is a mistake. <laughs> so we split the difference, and we'll have them figure out like what in the world I'm trying to do. Because I clearly did that extremely deliberately. It's like, on one hand, not attacking is right, on the other hand, Attacking is right, so maybe attacking only one of them is right? I must decide. <laughs> we confused him. Because if I hit both the divine shields. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> and then the snake shrub goes. Alright. He hurt himself in his confusion. Fantastic. So the goal would be to tease out his, um... Hagatha's scheme before I play the Zul'jin. Perplexing. I think this teases out Hagatha's scheme. Say the magic word. I think this means he doesn't have Hagatha's scheme. 
Ooh. Well, I just get Hagatha's schemed really hard if I play a hyena here. Wouldn't you have Hagatha's schemed if you were the opponent right now? There's 11, 12, 13, 14 on the board. Absolutely you Hagatha's scheme. So they don't have Hagatha's scheme. Even if I'm wrong, it's really hard to get value out of this hyena in this matchup, so... I think this is... right. And like, he knows that I have... Three seven five huffers in my deck. Dimly Isn't it too spooky to play the safeguard there instead of Hagatha's if you have it? I mean, the bad news is maybe Hagatha's scheme was on four damage and now it just ticked up to five. But what are the chances of exactly that situation? Hagatha's to deal four. I must decide. Oh. Huh? Oh. Six, seven, eight, ten. Alright, Huffer, finish him. Uh, I should hit first, probably. But sometimes I get buffed, but that's not relevant enough. Go! Ah! Alright, that's fine. Wyvern died. Very sad. Feels good to get all of the secrets back. So good. That's a that's another huge benefit of this deck over the normal mid-range deck. Because you can play all the secrets, they can all trigger, and then Zul'jin actually Christmas trees. Which is a big deal! Nine, thirteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oh, the red again! Oh no, the red strikes again! Oh. Uh, finally, we get to see how this deck does against Rogue. I was actually thinking about Explosive Trap, but Spring Paw's way better. Ha, this guy's toast. I think I might play my Trap Face up here. No, I could just Bestial Wrath it. That's pretty good. I was thinking like, nah, let's not play it face up. 1-1-1. One, one, one. Decent play. I'm not sure if that play was better than just playing this and then sending it over there and then playing the explosive trap. I don't think I ever make this play. Well, never say never. That looked terrible. Ugh. Mark's shot makes no sense. He's just got two minions. Could get the super value, evolve this guy. Okay. Let's 
ended up pretty decent. Hit it. left in the deck equals two. <laughs> this guy's a toast. And I think I'll just develop stuff. Subject 9 is no longer a priority to play because I only get a rat trap and a snipe, both of which aren't very useful at this state in the game. The next turn I should definitely arcane shot this guy. And then I guess I'll play Subject 9 out of nothing better to play. Could easily play Mark Shot. I forget things. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I'll play Rat Trap. Especially if he doesn't play his minions. Is he playing around Rat Trap? I can't remember if he's always been playing around Rat Trap. Has he never cast more than two cards a turn? I felt like he did on the last turn. Why wouldn't he play his guy this time? Huh. This time, I definitely have Rat Trap in his mind. So I guess he's perma playing around Rat Trap, which is tough when you have an evil miscreant in your hand. The handcuffs are on! The dying is a small problem, though. Maybe I should be keeping the Ancient Mage on the board. Said so the Waggle Pick always has a chance of returning that. Two, three, four, eight, four, six. Oh, I should have played Snipe. No, this is just as good almost. I'm just seeing that Leroy is lethal. But if that gets frozen, I actually still lose to Leroy. Leroy does so much damage with this pick. But I also know he has two lackeys, so Snipe actually made no sense, so this is right. And in the case that he had the two damage lackey, if he hit me with the two damage there, then... I mean, it's not always bouncing the lackey, but still I can't take that two damage. Oh. I'm out of cards. Okay. Good to see the four damage isn't coming to me. The Brotherhood Oh. 4, 5, 6, 7, 17, skill! I think I had it with Dire Frenzy also. That was also 5. 